Hi kids, today we are reading A Swim from The Frog and Toad Treasury by Arnold Lovell. Toad and Frog went down to the river. What a day for a swim, said Frog. Yes, said Toad. I will go behind these rocks and put on my bathing suit. I don't wear a bathing suit, said Frog. Well, I do, said Toad. After I put on my bathing suit, you must not look at me until I get into the water. Why not? asked Frog. Because I look funny in my bathing suit, that is why, said Toad. Frog closed his eyes when Toad came out from behind the rocks. Toad was wearing his bathing suit. Don't peek, he said. Frog and Toad jumped into the water. They swam all afternoon. Frog swam fast and made big splashes. Toad swam slowly and made smaller splashes. A turtle came along the river bank. Frog. Tell that turtle to go away, said Toad. I do not want him to see me in my bathing suit when I come out of the river. Frog swam over to the turtle. Turtle, said Frog, you will have to go away. Why should I, asked the turtle. Because Toad thinks that he looks funny in his bathing suit and he does not want you to see him, said Frog. Some lizards were sitting nearby. Does Toad really look funny in his bathing suit, they asked. A snake crawled out of the grass. If Toad looks funny in his bathing suit, said the snake, then I, for one, want to see him. We want to see him too, said two dragonflies. Me too, said a field mouse. I have not seen anything funny for a long time. Frog swam back to Toad. I am sorry, Toad, he said. Everyone wants to see how you will look. Then I will stay right here until they go away, said Toad. The turtle and the lizards and the snake and the dragonflies and the field mouse all sat on the river bank. They waited for Toad to come out of the water. Please, cried Frog, please go away but no one went away. Toad was getting colder and colder. He was beginning to shiver and sneeze. I will have to come out of the water, said Toad. I am catching a cold. Toad climbed out of the river. The water dripped out of his bathing suit and down onto his feet. The turtle laughed. The lizards laughed, the snake laughed, the field mouse laughed, and frog laughed. What are you laughing at, frog? said Toad. I am laughing at you, Toad, said Frog, because you do look funny in your bathing suit. Of course I do, said Toad. Then he picked up his clothes and went home. So what can you tell me about the characters in this story? You might ask, what's a character? Characters are the individuals the story is about. So in this case, you could say mainly the story is about Frog and Toad. Um, so they would be our main characters. And if it was about one character more than another, which one would you say? Right. It's more about Toad. Toad has a funny bathing suit and he doesn't want anybody to see him in it. Most of the story focuses on him, so he'll be our main character. Can you tell me about some other characters that came up in the story? That's right, Turtle came up next. That's right, Lizards? Any more? Yep, we have a snake, and a mouse, and 
dragonflies. These are all characters in our story. They help us understand what action is taking place. Let's talk about the setting. Every story has a setting. This story called A Swim is going to have one necessary setting. Can you think of what it might be? Water. Right. So the water in this story is the river. So the setting for our story is going to be the river. That's right. How the setting works is it helps us understand the things that are happening um, with descriptions like this. Frogs swam fast and made big splashes. You have to have the right setting in order for this to make sense. A setting with water like the river is perfect, but if you had him in the desert making big splashes that would be kind of confusing. In this way you can see how characters and setting go together pretty well. You could have splashes and bathing suits at a swimming pool, but it really makes more sense to have snakes and dragonflies and lizards and frogs and toads at a river. Let's review the characters for this story. Which would you say is our main character or the character the story focuses on the most? Toad, you're right. Or if you said frog, you're pretty close. This story almost has two main characters, frog and toad. But here we're looking at toad and his silly bathing suit for the most part. What about the setting? Can you tell me anything about the setting? That's right, setting is where it takes place. It's where the story takes place. And where did this one take place? At the river. Good job. Our main characters, Frog and Toad, and the setting is the river. Who else came into the story at the river? What other characters do we have? Toad, Frog, a turtle, lizards, snake, dragonflies, and mouse. I really hope you enjoyed this story. This has been A Swim from The Frog and Toad Treasury by Arnold Lobel.